Oh yeah, get a good look at that right there. That is a beautiful, beautiful rub, man. Getting into that, uh, deep into the, the heart of the meat of that breast. Oh, look at this, here we go. All right guys, come on over here and I'm gonna show you how to make a rub, okay? So we've got all of our ingredients laid out here. We've got paprika, we've got salt, kosher salt, if anybody cares. <laughs> we've got uh, onion powder, garlic, you can use fresh mince or you can use powder. We've got garlic, cumin. Now we've got some brown sugar. Nice. We got a little more paprika, some rosemary, and some uh, no, and some pepper flakes. Now, why didn't we put the paprika there? Well, I'll tell you in a second. Oh, and also, this is an applewood smoke, so we've got some applewood chips. So, guys, watch what we're going to do here, okay? I'm going to go ahead first, and I'm going to get uh, all these dry ingredients right in here like this. Well, mostly dry. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there, okay? What you've got right now is spices, all right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and stir them up. And here's the, here's the thing, guys. Right now, what you've got in there are spices. That's it, spices. This is not a rub yet. If you're wondering what makes spices a rub, it's the addition of this, brown sugar. <laughs> That's what it does. The brown sugar is what caramelizes uh, on the food, gives it that really uh, uh, great glaze, that crunch, the whole bit. So once you've got your spices all in there like that, now we're gonna go ahead and turn it from spices into a rub, just like that. We'll get all that incorporated. All right, all right, now that is a good basic rub for any kind of meat, pork, chicken, brisket, anything like that. But if you're gonna do a specific kind of meat, then you always wanna add maybe a couple of little extra things into that rub. So for poultry, here's what we're gonna do. A little extra paprika, because I want a little bit more of a punch of that. We're gonna put in some rosemary. This will add a really nice flavor. And if you like it a little bit spicy like we do, then some pepper flakes in there just like that. All right, let's get this mixed up and let's introduce it to the chicken. All right, so our rub is rub-a-dub done. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is that not beautiful? Look at that, you guys. Oh, 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 oh baby, does that look good. Right. Oh, yeah. Get a good look at that right there. That is a beautiful, beautiful rub, man. Getting into that, uh, deep into the, the heart of the meat of that breast. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Tender, juicy, perfect. I'm going to pick that off right there. We got a little bit of a perfect bite here. Guys, my name is Mark Gill. This has been Marks and the Grill. You got to try this rub on this chicken. You don't even have to babysit it, man. Just check for that 110 to 120. Flip it over. Wait for 165. Let it rest for a couple of minutes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.